A Look at Seniors is underwritten by the generous support of the Berkshire Bank. For over 165 years, Berkshire Bank has delivered excellent service and performance. Life is exciting. Let us help. Berkshire Bank, America's most exciting bank. Don't tell us who we are. We're not about ordinary. We're about extraordinary. We're not about numbers and names. We're about individuals and knowing that no two customers are alike. We're not too small to help. We're not too big to know you. We're about big bank resources with small bank attention. Hey, we believe those important moments in your life should be exciting, don't you? Life is exciting, let us help. Berkshire Bank, America's most exciting bank. Welcome back everyone. Well, as part of our look at seniors, we know that personal wealth and personal wealth management actually mean a lot of things to people who are moving into retirement. And joining me today is an expert in wealth management and personal wealth management, and that's Lorraine Negaborn. Welcome. Thank you. Very nice to have you here. Now, your affiliation is with uh, Berkshire Bank. That's a bank that I happen to know a lot about because you have all our accounts. So We love it. We <laughs> <Yeah>. love it. <laughs> But I, uh, more importantly, you know, it, uh, and also, I'm sorry, uh, Lois like Celeste. Hello. Yeah, I know. Hello. You see, I'm getting used to you being here. <laughs> this is Lois Celeste, who's the executive director of Saratoga Senior Center, who co-hosts this segment with me. Thanks, My Joe. apology. <laughs> yeah, all good. We had some computer problems before we started this interview, and I think I'm still thinking about that. The, uh, at any rate, let's just get into that. When people say personal wealth, they immediately go to finance. But personal wealth really has a, more to do with the encompassing the whole entity of what a person is about, right? That's so correct. it would be their state of mind. It might be their physical or mental health, and of course, their finance. Uh, being involved in it for 20 plus years, what's the common thread? Common thread is basically trying to get these people to get organized and yeah. really know exactly how much they are worth. And it's just not monetarily. It's really talking about, you know, do they have boats? Do they have a house? Um, and really then stretching it out further to their family mm -hmm. and try to have the family assist them um, if the time comes that they need it. You know, you mentioned something before the interview I thought was really important. Uh, you said listening is key. Mm -hmm. You know, so someone comes in and, you know, I, I don't know about you, but you, know, you think to yourself, gee, I don't have enough money to talk to an advisor or, you know, I worked really hard or I got caught in the recession or something like that. I think it's really important that this dialogue start, you listen, but you said something, you try to engage the family if there's a family. Absolutely. Correct? Absolutely. You know, and ev every family is different. Uh, but for the most part, from my experience, the family is very, very close to the parents. Mm -hmm. And that makes things work very, very nicely when you really do a, a full-blown you know, estate planning. Yes. Uh, because there are things that um, the children know about the family that I don't know about you know, their yeah. parents. So it really works well to get a full comprehensive approach having those family members with their mom and dad. Do you see that at the senior center? We tend to see the senior first, yes, um, and they come in at all different places. You know, are they young and just retiring and looking for activities? They're in a different place than potentially the person downsizing to, oh my gosh, what is happening to me now and do I have enough? So mm -hmm. we absolutely see the financial needs all the time and try to do some education around that and connect them with the services that are out there. You know, I would think trust is, is paramount here. You really do need to develop that kind of relationship, uh, second only to your doctor, perhaps, the person that's helping you plan for your future is key to the success of that, right, Lorraine? That's correct, that's correct. Now, uh, you mentioned that you like the team approach. Right. How does that work? Well, basically, um, being at Berkshire Bank, we have a lot of customers that come in and ask people, ask the tellers, you know, can we have anybody talk to me about estate planning. Mm -hmm. And so we're there, and in discussion with them, it's important to note that I'm not the only person that's going to deal with them. We have a team approach. Mm -hmm. So once we get comfortable and I know exactly what their goals are, then I bring in a portfolio manager where we sit down with them 
and go over some of the things we want to know about them. What is their risk tolerance? You know, what is their uh, really their one. real sure. goal in life? Um, and have them have that comfortability with us to know that you know we're working for them. Yes, got it. Uh, this risk assessment thing, you see this all the time. The older we get, mm -hmm. more reluctant we are for change or something like that. There's a certain, yeah, I would say people are scared, but that dials in at different places for people, right? Yeah, I think that, again, like I said, you see people at all different um, areas, but you see other seniors around you and you see all of a sudden you're trying to find out where do I go from here mm -hmm. and it's scary and it's scary and and um, we do see it all the time through our senior support services our advocates will try to work closely and hook them up with the proper mm -hmm. um, bank mm -hmm. service whatever it is to get them the proper advice yes. that they need to make sound decisions people are all over the place with their finances you know they and, and oftentimes the seniors will say, I don't, I don't have enough money, so how can I talk to a wealth advisor? It, it doesn't matter. You just need the advice. I think it's right. the support and the advice that you need. Mm -hmm. And it's not that idea to always get a second opinion, too. You, yes, right. You know, like you said, you're connected like your doctor. Right. Um, you've trusted somebody all your life, but times are changing and mm -hmm. people are moving. And, and, you know, so is it a good idea to get out there and talk to other people as well and see if you're on the right track. You know, uh, and it, mm -hmm. br it really breaks out into, into four areas. Your financial uh, status, right? Uh, the estate, the trust. What Do you have a will? You know, the more you, you have to take that first step. I don't care how old you are. You've got to take that first step. And in taking that first step, you almost breathe a sigh of relief, right? Because you've started down mm -hmm. that path because there are wills to, con to, be, uh, to be talked about in trust and estate mm -hmm. planning and your current financial status, which is not only the cash you have on hand, but That's also right. maybe your house. So when you're developing a portfolio, you know, you've just got to start down the path, right? Exactly. It's a peace of mind. After it's done, it's a peace of mind that mm -hmm. that's all taken care of. And we review it every year. Yes, we make right. sure that everything is intact and that nothing has changed in their, their lifestyle. And, you know, we know we take notes and we just keep going on and on and on mm -hmm. uh, to make sure that they are safe and sound in what they're doing. Oh, you really become an extended member of the family in a way, right? Yeah. And I know, you know, I know that sounds somewhat personal or emotional, but it's really true. It is. It's nothing more important than, you know, when you finally do think, oh, you know, I better pay attention to this. Uh, and if you're in that 50 to 60 year old range, which is what you'd said to me before, that's when you start to get more serious about it, right? And you see that. And we've talked about education as knowledge. This whole series is about getting out in front of right, it. Right, getting in front and, of it, exactly. And find out the information, talk to someone, get out yeah. there. Good. Lorraine, thank you very much for coming in. You're quite welcome. It's a welcome. real pleasure to meet you. And, thank uh, you. Great to see you. You know, I know you from somewhere, <laughs> don't I? Uh, yeah. See you next week. <laughs> great, Lois. Thanks very much. Thanks. To see this interview again, you can head to our website, looktvonline.com. A Look at Seniors is underwritten by the generous support of the Berkshire Bank. For over 165 years, Berkshire Bank has delivered excellent service and performance. Life is exciting. Let us help. Berkshire Bank, America's most exciting bank. Don't tell us who we are. We're not about ordinary. We're about extraordinary. We're not about numbers and names. We're about individuals and knowing that no two customers are alike. We're not too small to help. We're not too big to know you. We're about big bank resources with small bank attention. Hey, we believe those important moments in your life should be exciting, don't you? Life is exciting, let us help. Berkshire Bank, America's most exciting bank.